right, so in the last video, we found out the head studs are awesome, so super cool news. Um, now I'm gonna do a leak down test. To do that, you need a leak down kit. Um, I picked this one up at the finest automotive establishment um, known as Harbor Freight. Um, this is basically like a compression test. What we're gonna be doing is looking for really even readings, but instead of just the compression, um, this will tell us a little more information. Basically, if uh, there's some air coming out of the intake port, we know that the intake valves need help. Uh, if it's coming out of the exhaust, we know the exhaust valves need help. And if it's coming through the crankcase, that means the rings are worn out. So yeah, hopefully we get good news. Um, and then we can order a bunch of parts and make this thing look badass and put it back in the car. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the spark plug. I'm gonna inspect the plug and then I'm gonna hook up the leak down tester to it. All right, so since I've owned this car, I've never changed the plugs in it. Let's see what they look like. Ideally, they should be tan, but I mean, this thing is kind of a disgusting pig of a motor, so I'm probably gonna be, oh, kind of tan, running a little dark. Plugs aren't too worn out. All right, so here's leak down tester. This should be the hose that goes into the cylinder. And what you want to do is take your spark plug, make sure it's the same diameter and thread pitch. This looks like the right one. We're gonna thread that in there. Anyway, um, what you want to do is you want to hook this one up to the air, and then you're gonna turn this knob until this reads about zero. Um, so you just kind of it is at top dead center. Um, I checked it with a piece of something in there and the cylinder pushed it out and these are lined up, but because the air is coming out these exhaust valves, I don't think this is on the compression stroke. Now we're gonna look for this cylinder leakage to go down. You can see that this is just shot off. I'm just past top to the center on this mark, but this seems to be as high as it's going. And this is showing a cylinder leakage of 15%. And that 15% is going past the rings right now because I can hear it on in, inside the case. So I just finished the compression test. Um, I want to say right off the bat, this compression tester at Harbor Freight is a piece of shit. Do not buy it. So, um, in terms of this engine, um, I pulled on the plugs. Um, they're kind of dark and oily, but you know, no signs of damage or anything. This was a running engine, so that's to be expected. They do look like they're a little dark and oily though. Um, the percentages, when I first measured this thing, um, I got 25% on cylinder one and 30% on cylinder six. This is because uh, I didn't know how to use this gauge and when I was taking it off, it would, it would not wind up at zero. So once I started doing that, I started getting more consistent results. So um, on cylinders one, two, and three, I wound up getting 20, 15, and 20. So that's pretty consistent on that bank. And then on uh, four, five, and six, I got 12, 20, and 17. So really we're in with an 8% you know, difference. I think that that's fine. If this were a warmed up engine, um, I'm assuming it would be a little tighter. Uh, so probably more like 15-ish across the board, 10-ish, I don't know. Should you take it apart at this point? I'm not going to. Um, for a couple reasons. One, the just the cost of taking it that far apart would be a lot, and I don't think I'd get it back on the road in time to drive it, and I really want to drive this car. Um, the other thing is that if this is a 2.9 liter, um, which supposedly it is, I don't even know where to get rings for it. Um, Ondial isn't even in business anymore. They were purchased by Porsche, and now they don't exist. So. I'd have to try to cross-reference rings or something and 
I don't feel like doing that. Um, if this thing leaks less and uh, I'm gonna get the transmission rebuilt, if that shifts a little better, I'm gonna be really happy. really right next step in and I'm just gonna clean this thing because it is just absolutely disgusting. I wanna zoom in here and just show you guys how nasty this thing is. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clean her up, make it a little nicer to work on. So excited. 